Hello, welcome to It's a Sure Thing, and I am Sue Shaw, and this is the launch of our very first weekly um, live streams on, uh, on the Enlightened Tribe page. It's about connecting, sharing, um, sharing your passion with others, sharing your authentic self with others, and leading by example. Because when we do that, we actually inspire others and we empower them to do what they're here to do on this amazing planet. It's about positivity, it's about coming together, it's about individuality, but also about oneness. So I'm really excited to finally be launching this tonight. Um, and I have an amazing guest speaker with me this evening, which is William Carter. And he is a wealth of wisdom, and information. He's had over 26 years experience in numerology, astrology, um, and biogeometry as well is his latest thing is added to his toolbox. William is one of the most gorgeous souls and here he is. William, thank you very much for joining us this evening. We've got a lot to go through. Thank you, Sue. So great to be here. <laughs> So I know, William, that, uh, that you've, you've got so much to give to us tonight in a sh such a short time. So we will keep on track and uh, thank you all for joining us. So please um, bring on board your friends and your family and your loved ones and let's connect here. Uh, this is about connection. So let's, let's engage with everyone. And um, you've got some amazing things to share with the community tonight as well. So I'm going to hand over to you now. William, so um, go for it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, what I suggest the, the viewers do is get a pen and a paper um, because there's, there's a few things to write down. So that would, that would be really uh, good to, to do because numerology is all about uh, the numbers. So, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to unlock your code. The date of birth is an amazing code and we've all got one. So it's not hard, it's not hard to find your code, you've got it already. So um, with that, with numerology, you add the numbers together to find the root number. So, and we'll be looking at two numbers tonight. We will look at the the day number, so the day that you were born, and you, you could have been born on the 17th, so one plus seven is eight. So your root number for your day number is eight. And then we'll add up um, every single number of your date of birth, um, including, you know, like 1974. So um, you had add up all the, the digits until you get a total. So your total might come to 25. So 25, two plus five is seven. So your, your day number might be um, eight and your whole number might be seven. So, so that's what we're gonna play around with. So, um, so I'm, I'm gonna ask you if I can, do your date of birth of course yeah. i'd love you to yeah, yeah. Just, just before we do i'm just going to check in tammy has just sent a message saying can you give me the pin number for my code oh do you know what that means no i don't <laughs> okay can you give me the pin number for my code okay mm, tammy if you can just send another message as to what you mean there that'd be great and we'll keep trying to check back in with people engaging. But yes, you're welcome to use my date of birth, which is the 11th hmm. of June, 06, 1969. Right. So um, there's, there's some other numbers. So normally it's from one to nine is the numbers that the, the roots uh, of the total break down to. But there are some special numbers um which are 11 and 22 and also 33 so they're called master numbers and i i don't quite like that term because i think that every number 
is a master number because you have to master this number um, in your lifetime. Yeah. So, um, but Sue has the, the number 11. So that's, um, that's a quite a special number in numerology. It's, it's called a master number. So, and this is her gifts and talents right in that number, right in your day number is what you've already mastered in a past life. So you don't have to keep working on working on this number because you've already mastered it in past lives. You've already done it. So okay, uh, Sue has already done the spiritual work beforehand. So she comes in with lots of knowledge. She comes in with that awareness. She comes in with that. Um, and she's called it enlightened Adelaide. So she's an, an enlightened being here to share here to share her wisdom, that's, that's her gift already. So when you add the whole number up, it, it can come to two numbers. So uh, there's different ways, different streams in numerology. So in one stream, she's a 33, which is another master number. So uh, you know, some big things are expected of of Sue in this lifetime because she's chosen to play big and <laughs> really <laughs> really this time so this is I'm out of my comfort zone doing this but hey if I don't do it and if not now when and who you know so and it will become your comfort zone uh so as you as you go along you're you're brilliant you're a brilliant communicator and a brilliant speaker um and that warmth so the then so that's that's those key elements so it's inspir the 11 is inspirational it's visionary and it's just it sparks people it's it's full of ideas um and sometimes it's a little bit dreamy um but this time it's to be sort of concrete you know to make it pull down those dream those big dreams and make it concrete play yeah. with those I ideas we're in Who's reality me? and um so the other number is the life path number so that's the number so it can be 33 the way i do it is it's 40 it adds up to 42 that's the way i do it but both numbers are very very interesting because the 33 is called the the cosmic parent and the 33 is the healer the 33 is that creative ideas person. Um, the three is about creativity and self-expression. So um, it's just, a, it's a wonderful big healing number. So it's, a, it's called a Christ consciousness number as well. So there's some big things to, to live up to in that. So, uh, but the, the beauty of this is that you're a student of the 33 and the 42. So you're a master of the 11. You've mastered that. You bring those talents and those gifts in and you're here as a student to learn uh, about the healing. You're learning about that creativity. You're learning to um, uh, open up your ideas and, and present it. So, and the other number 42 is really interesting. So the four is practical. The four is being reliable, being a work order system. So there's a bit of a base to you. Uh, the, otherwise you'd be flying off um, into another realm. So you're, you're grounded a little bit with the, the four and the two is that sensitivity, that intuition, that, um, that awareness there. So, um, so I'm forming all this because I'm coming to a point um, of what you're really here for. What you're really here for is the um, is you're here to be the mother. So the if you add the three three plus three is six and four plus two is six. So the six is home and family. It's counselling, it's 
a balance, harmony and balance. So conflict can really throw you out. It's, yeah. It just doesn't fit in your world. You know, it really unsettles you. Other people can handle it. But yeah. the six uh, just wants to be in perfect balance. So, you know, uh, and it's very interesting. It's, it's about beauty. So your and the beauty is can be your ha home can be your environment nature is is uh, connected to the six is that beauty um, in you that you shine so to round it all out what you're really here for is to be the mother and and not only for uh, your your beautiful son your beautiful boy which you are, are fantastic at, at that mothering role, but also I uh, said the word or the phrase, the cosmic parent. So you're here for the bigger family as well. You're here to, um, to really help all of your family here as the, that mothering role. And, you know, so beautiful that what you bring to the table for the your events is that you know all your storeholders are like your children you know <laughs> you just want the best for them you you just so proud as punch you want to show them off to look at look at what this tool does look at what this one does look at that. absolutely it's, it's just beautiful so that's that's that mothering talent in you and you're learning it um as we go here so it's it's just it's just a wonderful area and you you're doing this through your spirituality through you bring and it's just perfect with all your festivals and all your events because it's it's the key element is the, the spirituality side yeah so, um, and can I just can I just ask the um, William? So when everybody's listening to the, I didn't realise we were going to do my numbers, but but those numbers that you were describing, they're relevant to other people who have got a six in their numbers or a, or a, a master number, which could be any double digit number, eleven, twenty two, um, yeah, thirty three, yes, thirty three, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, excellent. And um, yeah, just getting a few comments here um, from a few people saying thank you very much and I'm with you all the way. And Marie, Marie's asked her if, if you need another birthday, can, can you do her birth date? <laughs> so anyway. So yeah, it's uh, what, I, what I want to do next is I want to go through the, the tarot cards because what they are is it's a map of all the numbers so each tarot card is numbered from it's from 0 to 21 which makes the total 22 so there's 22 cards here and with that it's a journey so you journey from the start to the end and when you finish that you go back to the start and you journey again so what that will show people is the archetype of their number so we'll we'll start on that and see how we go with that so the very first card and i'll just bring it up i'll see if you can see that it's a little bit yep yeah, that's better it was a little bit blurry okay. so there's a there's an owl so that's this is the full card in in tarot so on mine it's the innocent so what this is the beginning and all numbers start from the beginning all numbers are the full because you come in through the birthing canal and you're completely wiped of your memory you think this is the first time you've been here you just come out fresh and you start to try and figure things out and you're you're going from place to place and um what you don't realize is that you've actually know your mission and everything's in place for you through your numbers because you've chosen the numbers to work on in this lifetime and you're already here uh, on the mission to find it so it wouldn't be much of a game if you already knew what you're here for so that's why the memory's wiped that's why the 
the full card she's ready to explore on this journey so we all start from the zero so this is a zero card okay and and is this a particular type of tarot because I, I i think there's lots of different tarot packs isn't there yes what, um, what pack are you what oracle pack are you using I, a friend of mine gave it to me and i i like it because it's it's not so scary and yeah it's got a lot exactly. of women, women on the the cards which are, i love because it, it's a bit more uh, playful i suppose and some of the cards are naked so it's it's quite interesting so uh, but that has a mean meaning also so you're not scared to show who you are when you're naked you know it's you bear your bones this is this is all of me so okay. all right so we'll move to the the first one we, we, won't, we won't all go naked now <laughs> <laughs> you can if you want but <laughs> no thanks i'm not quite ready this is this is scary enough let alone doing that <laughs> <laughs> okay we come to number one so number one is is really the sun energy so um the one is masculine and we've had that for one thousand years we've had the the one operating so the one is the magician so the magician is not a helper the magician does the tricks the magician is has the confidence to pull out the rabbit out of the hat so that's why it's a leader and that's why it's manifesting what it wants um so the the second number the second one is the 10 which is also a one and that is the wheel of fortune so it depends on how you're going you know if you're integrity as a magician as your number one um things will go well and the wheel will go up but if you're out of integrity the wheel can go horribly wrong so you can lose your friends you can lose a business you can you know if you're selfish things things start you know happening that um don't serve you so okay. and the the other card is the sun so it's this one it's the number 19. so if you're in integrity your the sun will be shining and you'll be dancing in that so your leadership if if you're in integrity all is good it, it works um all the time so we need to tell the politicians um that you know to get into the sunshine they need to be in in integrity there <laughs> yeah we might leave that topic well I think, alone <laughs> I, I think you will <laughs> so this this is really interesting because this relates to you sue and this is um the archetype of the 11 so if you add the 11 one plus one is two so um it's it's the high priest priestess so she she is um sitting there getting the knowledge she's getting the awareness she's getting the insight she's getting the downloads she's very very sensitive she's picking up um what her intuition is giving her so that relates to you you're you're the um the high priestess there so you're getting the inspirations and the 11 in my deck is the strength card so and it's quite interesting it's tough being an 11 because there's a lot of a nervous energy running through the 11 and um it's tough trying to keep that under control or you know but you can use it because when you're nervous that's just you going up to another level you're rising your frequency up to another level and going yeah. going for it so whirlwind. i've been described as a whirlwind with a particular with a psychosomatic archetype with one of our tribe members as well she actually described me if that's yeah a whirlwind and i'm like yeah that's pretty much me <laughs> but you know just look at that inner strength there that's your inner strength that's the 11 card uh you've got lots of inner strength even when people put you down so you know for being sensitive you know get over it you know toughen up or something like that 
there's so much inner strength there to tackle anything um, with the wisdom. So you've got the wisdom um, and you've got that inner strength. So, um, and the last card is, is the number 20, which is also a number two. And this is unusual because it's the judgment card. And not many people understand this or get this, but this is like a great awakening. And it's normally at the end um, of life. And it's, it's like a change of consciousness. It's a wake up call. It could be a revelation that comes to you um, in your life at any stage or many revelations that come to you. And all of a sudden, you're changing your purpose. You're, you're changing your life to meet that new consciousness that's arisen in you. And uh, so like, th take this, for example, this, this is the, an awakening, you know, it's a new thing for yourself and a new platform, uh, a new beginning. So um, this, there's the, the couple with the child, you know, you're birthing something new here. And you're going through the the, the tunnel of a uh, light into another consciousness, into another realm. <laughs> well, and and you know, I'm doing that with the support of the tribe, of the people around me, of of the family. You know, because that that's what it feels like to me is that everybody I have connected with, um, in all of my lifetime, I've, I'm I'm still connected with in some in some way. You know, and it's. It's a beautiful thing, and um, we can we can make this change as we all bring our own individual um, skills to the table, and we recognise what our individuality is, and then we support each other to thrive in that situation as a as a community, as a you know we are one. There, there is no separateness. There's there's no hierarchy. There's no better or worse. It's just who are you? embrace it go for it um and i'll be your biggest champion <laughs> beautiful so well actually no a day will she champions everybody here here we come to the um number three so the number three has got the the three the 12 and the 21 and um so what the the first one with the um the this is it. the empress so what the empress do, does is she's pregnant she's pregnant she's looking up into the sky with her imagination she's got her feet on the ground and she's pregnant with ideas she's the creative one she's uh, wants to launch her creativity onto the world she wants to birth her creative her creative ideas so um, the three brings a lot of creativity um, and that. And, you know, interesting that the, the next card is the hangman. So what happened? You know, what, um, what happened there when uh, all that creativity was happening? So this could be writer's block. This could be like a fork in the road and you have to redefine yourself redefine your creativity are you stuck you know are you in a dead-end job that's not creative but you're doing it just for a living just for the uh, but it's not for your soul so it's almost like a wake-up call in in the middle of your journey there and but, yeah i can i can i can relate to that and i think it's this whole shake up that's that's just happened and the way i used to do things and be <clears throat> in the corporate world is completely different to now and i actually i'm yeah i'm not recognizing that part of me anymore so it's it's the shedding of the layers which i'm sure other people can relate to at the moment of, of what's been happening with themselves and and this this incredible new awareness uh, the the awareness before was always this kind of you know saying it and knowing it and understanding it but now i'm feeling it i'm embodying it I'm, and i'm you know 
just before we came on here tonight, I, I just did a little guided meditation and I did an oracle card for myself. And it was so beautiful that I had tears because my heart was just expanding from those words, which it really spoke to me. Um, and I, 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 I hope other people out there that are listening tonight, I hope they're on that same path. And, you know, when we're unraveling what we're letting go of, of what we were taught or how it should be or would be or could have been, it, it's like there is nothing else but now. Yes. There, yeah. yeah, anyway, I'll be careful that I don't end up taking over this. <laughs> well, this this is the uh the end card this is the card 21 and this is the end of the series in the tarot and this is where we all eventually get to it's called the world so we create our mark on the world so but the threes especially they're highly creative they and you can see the the wands so she's creating the reality so she's come to a fulfillment in her creativity and we all do so this is the end card for all all the numbers so you know and then we start again so this is the end card uh whereas we're going to start again we've come to like the climax of of our creativity or whatever our endeavor is and then um, what's next? This is like a what's next card. I've done it. I've achieved that and I feel good. What's next? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, the next, the next cards, are the emperor. So this is, this is the four, this is the number four. And I love the number four. I, I didn't love it when I first started numerology because I, I thought it was a bit boring and you know, it was someone that really pointed out that I didn't have the four. So the four is all about being practical. It's about work order system. It's earthy. It's staying, staying grounded. As you can see, the, the, um, the emperor here is grounded in the chair. So it's, it's, he's solid. really solid, you know, his stability yeah. and, you know, as an employer, you'd employ this guy because he'd get it done. You know, he knows what he's doing and he'll stay there to the end to get the job done. So yeah, the, cap, the captain who goes down with the ship, hey? Yes. And, but the funny thing is the next one is the 13. So one plus three is 13 and it's the death card. And you think, oh, what happened? You know, he was so solid, but maybe he's got too restricted or too boxed in with his thinking and he can't get out of the box you know he just thinks this is the way it is and this is how i've always done it and i'm gonna stay with it so the death card <laughs> yeah the death card sort of cuts clear of the old way of thinking and say come on you know you can also come up with other creative ways of of being um being practical and um reliable and um analytical so it's it's like cutting the old stuff you know and this is the phoenix rising behind um this um the grim reaper and so from the ashes there's some great new awareness with the number four on, on ways of doing things so okay. um wonderful there with that so can can I just ask a question there? So 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 you're going through the tarot cards now, just as um, so when you do a tarot reading for people, um, the certain cards come up, and you're you're showing us through these cards and how they relate to your birth number. Yes. Just yes. just to make it clear, if, yes. If, for for those playing at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I this is the archetype uh, of your number. Right. So, um, like the archetype of your number, the eleven, is that the high, the high priestess, and okay. the strength. Um, so, yeah, th these are archetypes of all the numbers. So it's such an amazing system, tarot. Um, and I, I, I mean, I, I didn't want to do tarot because you know I thought, oh, I, I don't do tarot. I just 
uh, do the numbers, but when I connected that the numbers are the tarot and then I could see it more clearly. So um, with, with this one, it's the number five. So the number five is the, um, the high priest. So the, the high priest, he learns from experience. The five's got an amazing mind. So no wonder he's, he becomes the counselor. He becomes the wise, the wise guy because he, he learns off experience. And the only way to do that is traveling, you know, to be initiated, to go through all these different ideas. And he's up for it. You know, the five, they're really up for it. They're up for the challenge and, you know, got five fingers and they start um, clawing their way into the world and they love it. They love it. And they learn by experience. So that mm -hmm. what's, that's what makes them, you know, a wise um, counselor at the end of the day, because they've actually done it. They've gone through the journey. And the other um, archetype is temperance. So, you know, quite, quite interesting with this card because temperance is like pulling you back, pulling you back in and coming into balance because sometimes the fives can go too far. They, you know, they're all out um, exploring and they love their freedom. But if they haven't got any um, so discipline, then freedom's hard to get. You know, you've got to have the discipline to do the work, earn the money, and then, you know, have your holiday or go for what you want to explore. You can't uh, just keep going and uh, not going um, to, to do the work. So temperance is great. Temperance just shows you right timing. It shows you to bring yourself back into balance. Where am I out of balance? And the fives can say that because sometimes they get very unbalanced um, because they're so interested in everything and they've got great minds. So they're, they're journeying. Yeah. So, any, so anybody with that number in their birthday would, would, uh, would, feel, would feel that energy? Absolutely. Yeah. The, yeah. The, five, the five's wonderful. The five's a, a wonderful uh, number. It's connected to Mercury. I, I haven't told you the planets. I forgot about that, but it's connected to the mercurial mind. So it's lightning silver. So they're into everything. It's a Gemini number, which you've, you've got the Gemini in you. That's the five energy. It's connected to Gemini. So that's how you can relate to the five. By being a Gemini, you've got an inkling of what the five is like. Okay. So, okay. so um, this, we'll do this one first. This is your archetype. So it's a six. So this is the lover's card. So we've got the mature lover um, on one side, and we've got the young um, lover that's just enjoying life there. So there's a combination, but there's that maturity and um, that free spirit. So, and it's all connected to relationships. It's connected to family. It's uh, co connected to love. So, um, and you know, the, the best love is to have love for yourself before you start sort of journeying out to find someone else. So, um, and the really interesting card as another um archetype is the devil so what happened there you're like what happened so with this one the archetype on this one could be like if you're addicted to be like in a codependent relationship um if if you're no, yeah. not too much of a good thing you know if you have ice cream occasionally it's great it's beautiful and it, it's really lovely but every night if you have the 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 addiction to this ice cream you know something's going to go wrong so this is just like a, a maybe a warning card saying um watch out for codependency um see how you're how you are relating to to everyone and in, especially yourself are you um perceiving yourself in in any ways and and that so the, the devil card is, is not a scary card for me. For me, it's just like, um, where am I tripping myself up? 
where where are my um where are my addictions and you know they don't have to be a heroin addiction it, um it, it could be a very very simple thing that keeps you in the loop keeps, yeah keeps you not from uh growing so um and that the six is interesting is sometimes you have that pair bonding so pair pair bonding they don't want to do anything without each other you know that's it's almost like a stuck uh situation yeah. so that's a very interesting card with the six so we'll move and, and it's, it's probably a bit ex extreme in that whole moderation like and for me i am an all i or i have been an all or nothing and when i'm in a relationship it's all 100 percent, or it's nothing and yeah. <clears throat> single for five years so there we go <laughs> and i've just got a question from simon hi simon can you tell me how i work out numbers relating to my name and birth date is that how numerology works yes um it does so <clears throat> Thanks, simon with you can actually look up uh, on uh google you can google your name on on um on many websites so you can find out what your numbers are there um okay. and i don't know whether he was at the start you know when i was saying about the the day number and your life path number as your whole number so yeah. you, um but there's plenty of websites out there you can just print in your your num your date of birth and they come up with a big reading uh for you pages and pages of it or, or they can call you and book <laughs> a book a session yeah. with you, William. They can, they can indeed. Yes. yes. We are going to have to wrap this up soon. So um, oh. we have been going for 35 minutes already. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> what? All right. Well, maybe, maybe I'll, I'm just going to do a little quick reading for everybody. So everyone of the collective, okay. every Beautiful. individual uh, person on the call, and also anyone that's going to look at the replay so i'll just do a really quick mini mini reading so this is the first card that comes out and it's choice it's the choice card it's the zero card wow so what a, this is an amazing time on the planet you know you're, you're going to have to decide you're going to have to choose here so everything that you've chosen in the past has brought you right to this point and everything from this future time you know from this now moment is going to lead you into your your future so and there's big things up at the moment so you know being vaxxed or um unvaxxed you know are you going to 3d are you going to 5d um are you going for integrity or are you going for corruption and coercion you know what there's some big choices and you know this is amazing time on the planet to choose so that's what, awesome what what do we choose so i've just drew, drew a couple of cards that show you which what to choose and this is the number two the beautiful two and it's it means choose with your heart a path with the heart and this is you've got to be in line with your heart so i've i've known other people you know the creative uh a very creative woman she wanted to be an artist and her, her parents wanted her to be a doctor to to show the prestigious um parents that you know they've got a doctor as a daughter and she's totally unhappy so it's to choose the path with the heart yeah and the other card in that is number nine is choose your mountain don't let someone choose the mountain for you or think no you couldn't do that one you can only choose you know go for this mountain it's stay true to your goal feel in you've got to feel in stay tr true to your, your goal you're experienced here you're um you know the traps here so you bring all the best equipment to climb that mountain um and it's it's like being true very true true to yourself yeah 
And well, what 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 else? What other choice is there anyway? Really, it, if you're not being true to yourself, what are you denying yourself? What are you, you know? And it all, and it all boils down to self worth as well, and you know, knowing that we're here for a reason. Yeah, we, yeah. It's awesome. So nine is a powerful message for Adair right now. So she's saying thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Good. And this is a, a like an outcome card and it says the number two. So the number two, this is a lotus unfolding. So yeah. it will all unfold when you stay with your heart and you go for your ideal. It will all unfold naturally and nicely. So if you try and force something that's not yours, like you're trying to force that um, lotus, um, you know, trying to tear the petals off to see what color it is, it'll die, it won't be happy. So it's about being true to your heart and staying with your high ideal of who you are and it will all unfold nicely. So uh, once you yeah. number two, so two, two's up at the moment because we've entered the Aquarius age and we've come into the, the uh, year 2000. So everyone in their numerology has the number two um, as opposed to the number one which we've had for the previous thousand years which was masculine so now we've entered the two which is feminine so you're going to have the feminine will lead they will lead and they the previous feminine leaders have been trying to be men leading yeah. and it's no good so the new women leaders that will come out will be the nurturers. They will be the mother of the, the community here. And it, it won't be just one leader on top. It's collective. collective leadership. And that's what the two is all about. It's all about relationship. So um, so this is this is we've just entered the the Aquarius age and it's the number two. So it's all about being receptive, being um, heart based, being the nurturer, being caring for humanity. So which the, the one lacked because it was really all about self. Yeah. So, so do, does that mean then as well that um, it's time for men to get into their feminine, more into their feminine balance as well, because otherwise they're going to lose the way. And I am feeling for for society of men at the moment because, you know, the whole roles changed, and and there's all these roaring women that are leaders and excited and passionate, and it's like this whole generational stuff that's just getting cleared, and this. Up, up rising but we can we can do it together we, we we can do it together if if the guys if the men show up and support that absolutely and the new guys all of those um boys that are born in the year 2000 onwards they've all got the two in their charts cool. so they've got that nurturing they've got that sensitivity they've got that awareness that was lacking in the one because most of the boys had the one um in their chart and if you try to show your sensitivity in that old paradigm it just didn't work you know you were beaten down and um and it went for generations generations but the new generation these boys are, are magic that yeah i just watched them i really watched them and you know i had my youngest reading ever he was 10 and he came for a numerology reading. He said, mom, I want a numerology reading. And he had powerful numbers and his soul, I reckon his soul just said, go up and see that guy. And you know, he's gonna show you exactly where you're gonna go in, in your life, you know? Wow. And I was stunned and he, he was just taking it all in. He took it all in and um, he had powerful um, master numbers that I and I said, you must have a look at numerology. You must really open yourself up to to this. And I think that's why his soul brought him over to me, just to um, wow. become aware of his powerful numbers. So yeah. these Beautiful. these young boys are just amazing. They're the 
they're the game cha changers. They'll be there to really back uh, the women uh, up in in so many nurturing ways, which wasn't there beforehand in the, in that old paradigm that we we've, we've left behind. So Beautiful. Yeah. That, that that's really promising, and that you know, I th I think for me that gives me that gives me hope and faith and and trust to just keep on the path. You know, just keep going, just keep going. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. We're, we're all in the two. So to know that on a on a global scale, on a cosmic scale, on a whatever you want to call it, um, very, very powerful. Like you say, the numbers are powerful and we've got that supporting us. Absolutely. So believe in that. Believe in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Well, we are going to have to close up now. Have you have you? I know you could talk for another five hours. <laughs> yes, I, I did have some more, but maybe we can do another one. What I didn't get through uh, tonight. So that um, would be great. Yeah, but it, it's been lovely. It's been really lovely uh, connecting to you. I miss you and uh, miss all the, the tribe in, in Adelaide. But, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying Melbourne and um, they're, they're not scared to have a go. You know, they, they come for readings. They, they're, they're hungry. I think they're really hungry to find out more. So. Fantastic. Well, we, we miss you too. And I know we've had a couple of messages on the, on there saying, can't wait to see you at Enlighten Adelaide Festival. But I don't know whether you're coming over for it. Um, but if you do want to have a reading with William, you can do that. And you can go to his um, uh, his website or call him his mo on his mobile number. All of those things will be in the comments on the on the bottom below when this goes as a recording. Um, oh, oh, and there they are, magically <laughs> appeared <laughs> for our magical guru in the background. <laughs> and I would actually just like to acknowledge Adair Palmer who is in the background doing all of this. Um, and William, just an absolute joy and delight. You are just a very special person to me and to a lot of people in Adelaide. So yeah, and everyone's saying thank you, we miss you. Um, this resonates with me. Thanks for being your true self. So, um, so thank you very much, William. And for for those of you with the Enlightened Tribe, I invite you to go to the website suesure.com.au and have a look at our global wellness directory. And William is on there as one of the tribe members. Um, and also to follow us on Facebook um, at Enlightened Tribe Facebook page. And I think that's everything. So thank you everybody for engaging tonight with our first It's a Sure Thing, <laughs> which we did a poll for, but I won't go into that. So it's been great. Can't wait to um, to do this again. And we will get you back again and do uh, do another live because, yeah, it's it's been awesome. Um, love your heart. Love you. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. It's been a pleasure to be on the first one. So it's been great. Thank you.